So in uh, in training and racing with power for me, I've I've been using it probably for the last s- six to eight years. And I guess the when I first started, I didn't really understand the numbers or what they mean until you you get kind of like a few months together or you get a few years together and you have this this data that you can always go back and look at and see what you were doing the year before or see when you were coming into form uh, or when you had form, you can see how you actually got there. You know, we, we've done a, some pretty cool things over the last the last few years in races like the Amgen Tour of California, USA Pro Cycling Challenge where, you know, the the power files have been published online so that everyday people can can check it out and see what you know, what it takes to come 10th in a race or what it takes to come 7th and what kind of output you need to put out, you know, which is pretty, it's pretty scary even sometimes when you see it yourself. You know, you don't, you don't believe what you saw sometimes. So one of the, one of the things that I've discovered in, in training with power and doing more with my heart rate, obviously combined with that, is that, for example, in in the hot summer in Colorado when I go out riding and, and I'm looking for a specific heart rate to be riding in, it's funny to see after two hours, you can tell even though you don't feel dehydrated that the power numbers start changing and the heart rate stays the same. So it's really interesting to, to teach me that during the race to, to hydrate more and to eat more and how much that actually helps me in the long run. And you know, it's something something else along those lines is you get to the end of a training session and I have a, a hard climb to do and if I'm, if I'm fatigued or if I'm uh, undernourished or dehydrated, I don't get to those levels that I'm used to getting to. You know? So it, for me, it seems to be a really good tool to, to really control your training more and control your environment, which is, is something which is important to, I think, to get to your peak performance.